What's going on guys, my name is Bear Witness and today we're going to be talking about 2K19 and the top 3 builds that I think that you guys should make in order to be pretty dominant at the start of a game. Now this is subject to change based on the fact that we don't exactly know how archetypes work. This is going by past years, archetypes, and things like that. It's not necessarily to be taken with a grain of salt, but from the knowledge we know and the fact that 2K hasn't very changed very much over the last 2 years, this is what we can expect to be the best builds. Now, the first thing is the slashing shot creator now i think this is the absolute best build especially for small forward players this is a very lebron-esque build i mean lebron's a way better passer and has way better attributes um and badges based on his passing ability but they don't really let you build like direct characters inside of or pl direct players inside of 2k so in that sense we kind of have to make our way around it anyways this is one of the better builds that lets you be kind of dominant when it comes to slashing and gives you the essential badges when it comes to slashing while still letting you have that post fadeaway in your arsenal and a little bit of a good midi so you're straight now and when it comes to the second build it's the post scoring athletic finisher now personally I believe that post scores were super underrated in 2K18. They're absolutely dominant. They were semi-dominant in 2K17, but still didn't get the praise that they should have. I think this year, especially with Mike Wang saying that, he was, that the post moves were gonna get a little bit of a buff before uh, 2K19 dropped, that they'll be absolutely insane. In fact, I think they might be just as useful, if not the most useful center build in the game. But, you know, pretty much all centers are going to be pretty nasty and for when it comes to that aspect. But, that's not the point. Now, the last build that we have on the list is the Pure Sharp. Now, there is never a moment where a Pure Sharp will never not be useful. So, this one's kind of a given. You know, you always want that three point to be kicking out, kicked out to. But, another acceptable Sharpshooter build is the Sharpshooter Playmaker build. If you want to be able to get jiggy with it and be effective in like twos because otherwise you won't really have that much speed but it all really depends on how 2k works because this year i've seen a lot of slashers i mean a lot of sharpshooters that were able to do you know really good layups and stuff like that and i guess i guess being a sharp shouldn't mean that you don't have good layups but if you put all of your effort into being a sharp then i don't think that you should be very effective at anything else so in that sense if you wanted to be semi-effective at anything else you would pick up a sharpshooting playmaker if not and you just wanted to be a total cannon from outside then you should totally pick up the, the pure sharp uh, aside from that, another notable build is the Pure Slasher, the Pure Shot Creator. These are also advantageous builds that only give you like one trick abilities, but can be super effective in their own right. So it really depends on your playstyle, guys, but these were the top three builds that I thought were the best. They're probably going to be the best, at least at the start. I don't know if, you know, Slashers might get a nerf or anything like that, or Sharpshooters might get a nerf. I heard sharp shooting was supposed to be harder, so I don't know if Sharps, uh, that's why pure sharps were at the bottom of my list because like i said i don't know how big the nerf is i don't know how big the skill gap is going to be but aside from what we know already or what we've known in the past this is what we have so if you guys like the video make sure you guys leave a like down below and if you guys um want to see more content by me sorry <laughs> if you guys want to see more content by me make sure you guys click that sub button thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys next time